Okay, hey guys, I'm Coach Cindy from All Training and I'm here with Tim Nichols. And today we're going to do a little chat here and we're going to talk about um, Tim's journey through a one year coaching program with me called Pro Coach and about his weight loss journey. Um, so I hope that it resonates with you as you give this a listen and maybe reaching out and seeing if um, taking a one year online coaching journey uh, with me is part of the journey for you as well. Um, so Tim, we're just going to keep this casual, Tim's sure. a little bit nervous, so <laughs> uh, we'll keep this pretty chill. So uh, Tim, let's start off uh, telling the viewers at home um, what you've uh, tried, how long, for, let's start with how long have you tried to lose weight? How many years? <clears throat> so I started trying to lose weight when I was about uh, 16, so about around 30 years. So, yeah. So 30 years with this one goal of just trying to lose weight. Yes. And over those 30 years, um, tell the viewers at home, what are the different things that you try to try to regain control of your weight? So I, I tried different, uh, like, fad diets, like anywhere from paleo to, you know, um, Dr. Atkins to, like, soup diets to shake diets. If you, you name the diet, I probably tried it over the years. Mm -hmm. And you said that there are two moments. So when you were 16 and when you were about tw in your tw mid 20s. Yeah, my mid 20s. Yeah. You did really well. You yes. lost weight. They worked. Yeah, yeah right? they worked. Yes. Until they didn't work. Right. Right. Tell me why they. Why you feel like they didn't work? Um, a lot of them are programs that were set together so that they're almost unachievable. Like, like, like you can lose weight on them, but. To, to continue on for the rest of your life, it's almost impossible to follow that program. Mm -hmm. right? And that's what, and that's, so I would do really well on at least on these two programs. I did really well for uh, about a year, and then I started, then I started going back to the gaining weight again, is what, I, is what was happening. So. Okay. And so, what does losing weight mean to you? Why, why is it important to lose weight for you? Um, <clears throat> just losing weight, I just, I, I want to be more healthier. I've always wanted to be like, do you know what I mean? More fit, right? And just be, just feel good about myself, right? That's probably the main reason. So. Okay. Um, so just before we go into a little bit more about your journey, let's talk about a little bit about what this one-year coaching program looks like. So sure. It's called Pro Coach. It's with all of training. Me as your coach for one year, kind of the coach in your back pocket. And um, for somebody who is used to, you know, 30-day quick fixes or like with some of the experiences that you said with different fad diets or uh, shape-based programs that kind of aren't sustainable, how is this one different? How is it different in the sense that it's one year and how is this approach totally different? So it, it's different because it works really slow over the year to help you build um, momentum in, to continue on after that. So, and, and they, how they do that is they, is they put like habits in place for like two weeks at a time. So they, they won't say, okay, we need to eat this. That's what you need to do. They'll say, instead they'll say, okay, you know, for the next two weeks, we want you to do this small little thing. That's what you're going to do for the next two weeks. And then after those two weeks are done, they're going to say, hey, we want you to do now this, but we also want you to do the other one, right? And now you've got a new habit for the next two weeks, right? So they, they slowly build consistency is what they try to do in the, in the program. Right. Yeah, and so when he says they, Pro Coach is an online platform, um, and so the habits, uh, there's a curriculum for men, and then there's an, an approach for women, um, and then we work one-on-one -on -one together to help break down those habits and break down some of the roadblocks that we might encounter, right. and then right. we add different elements um, to that as well, and every two weeks there's a checkpoint where he gets to submit his weight and his measurements and his photos, and then we get to kind of tweak things from there and we get to do um, call times as well to help kind of break things down. Does that kind of summarize yep, what that yeah, looks like? Yeah. So that's over the course of a year. So a year long journey with the coach has been probably the longest time that you've spent with one yes, yes. program. Yes, that's right. It's been 11, 11 months and two weeks now. So yeah. we a couple weeks left, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had no trust in the nutritional exercise industry. I had been doing it for 30 years. I spent a lot of money in, in trying to get myself to lose weight and trying to get myself to a, a level where I could be consistent. 
and I was not, I didn't believe that it was possible. I didn't believe that you were out, actually out here for the benefit of me, right? And um, so I had a lot of, I had a lot of, I put up a lot of walls at first when we started, right? You know, I had people say, well, why would you spend money when you believe this? But uh, I still had hope. I still wanted to lose weight, right? You know what I mean? And, and try and find, you know, a better me, right? That's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So Good, good. And um, so in the beginning, it was like we would go through the lessons and um, I would come up to a wall. <laughs> And then I'd have to poke at that wall a bit <laughs> until eventually we kind of like that wall came down and then that's when kind of some magical things. And in the beginning you were quite clear to say like I really don't trust you either yes. because you're part of this fitness and nutrition yeah, industry right. and I've had 30 years and even though I'm hopeful, is this going to work for me? Right. Right? And um, so you, okay, so how, many, how much weight have you lost since the get-go? So I've lost on Pro Coach since I started Pro Coach with you. I've lost uh, 88 pounds, um, almost 46 inches in, in complete body weight measurements, right? Um, but as well, since I went, I started because I started two months prior to that, I've lost just over 102 pounds in total. Yeah. So, so this yeah. is all done online. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's a significant amount of weight, yes. right? Yeah. So how did you get started with AOT? So I started with AOT because my wife started with you about eight months prior to me coming aboard. And I remember I would see her come home and she would be like, she'd be eating the same food we, I was, right? But just doing the smaller portions and eating more often during the day. And uh, she was losing weight and she was just really happy. She was just coming home and she'd be like, oh, this, 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 this Coach Cindy, she's so awesome. You've got to meet her, right? You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I... Uh, how I, how I started, right? Yeah, and you just did a couple months in the gym yeah. doing the exercise piece. You struggled a lot in the beginning yes, because did. of your weight. Yeah. Uh, but despite of your weight, you managed to come show up for yourself and made some honest, some really great friends in here. And then that's when... And everybody was so supportive. Like, you know, I, I never felt once I've been in the gyms before where you'd walk in and people would say, oh, well, you know, you, you can't... You know, you just gotta get that bad feeling that you shouldn't really be there, that you're not the you're not the person that's supposed to be there. And I've never felt that once since I've been at all the training yeah. ever. And I do have other members, or other clients on Pro Coach that don't come to the gym, but because they're from the area, they've decided mm -hmm. to kind of come here. So here you are, 86 pounds down, um, 88. 88 pounds down, and even more to come because we're yeah. not finished yet. Yeah, right. So how does um, this feel different than all those other times? It feels more realistic, like, I, like I, I'm eating foods that I've always ate in my entire life. So, so it's not like I'm on a diet, right? It's, you know, I, 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 I figure out my food for the day and I, I kind of get all set up and then that's what I go with, right? And it, and it works, and it works, and it's really simple and it's really easy. It's, it's kept, Pro Coach has kept it very basic and very simple for, for and that's why this program works. So Tim is a farmer as well, yes. so um, um, he grew up um, in a type of household where it's like the meat and potatoes, eat everything on your plate, so yes. that kind of belief. And so that was part of the resistance that we kind of came up with, was like deconstructing some of those old beliefs about like I don't need to eat everything on my plate and I can still have the meat and potatoes, we're just going to rearrange our plate a little bit and yeah. have our portions right. a right. bit different. I do remember a couple of times in the program where um, you came from a program or an approach that was like push hard, push hard, every day push hard. And I remember you were losing weight and you were like, this is too easy. And you were yeah. looking for something harder. You're like, what else can I do? What else can I do? Yes. And I remember us talking a little bit about like, it's okay to just coast. Yes. We're still making headways to your yeah. goal, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it would, would you say it's because Oh, for sure, because in any program, you say, okay, well, I've got to be in this 100%, and I've got to do that, and, you know, I, and I think I said this to you recently, I, I don't honestly think that, you know, I've been able to follow the program 100% as it is. I, I think I run between 60 and 80% all the time, mm -hmm. you know, in the program, and I'm still losing weight all the time. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah. Yeah, good. So there were two moments in the program that were kind of pivotal for you. Yes. Um, two, two things. 
things that shift it. Um, because this isn't just about nutrition and exercise, it's about the mindset. The, and when we break down mindset, like how do you explain that to people? Oh, so when I came into this program, I, I thought it would be more nutritional and exercise based. Because that's usually the programs I've always come into. And this one was not at all. It, it, it makes you look at what beliefs and what 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 you're working at and why you why you eat or why you associate food in certain ways, right? And, and just being able to go about it and and do that, like uh, you know, like trying to figure out why I eat the way I do, right? In a sense, right? Yeah, or in who you are, because yes. you've always been kind of defined as a bigger man. Yes, you are right. losing weight trying to figure out well, if I'm not going to be that bigger man, who am I? Right. Right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, and so part of that has been that exploration about who is this new 2.0 version of Tim? What does it do? <laughs> and what does it think? Yes. How yes. does it eat? Right? Yes. Yeah, and so then how was I able, as a coach, how was that experience with me as a coach different than other coaches? Um, you know, with Pro Coach was nice because it, it, it felt like and I, if I wanted to send something to somebody to, you know, a lot of programs I was on before weren't online based, so I don't really don't know how other online based programs work, but I, I know that in the past I would have an hour a week or something with a coach and that's what that's what my time limit was. Like I had unlimited twenty four hours a day. I could if I felt something I wanted to contact you about, I could, right? Sometimes you go back to me right away, sometimes you wouldn't, depending on your schedule, right? But uh, I know then, at least I sent something, and I know that I've got support there. Even though you had to respond, and I know that I've got support, and that, that was a huge thing for me, right? You and I need to know that I had support 24 hours a day. Yeah, and sometimes you would be struggling on the weekend, yes. and sending that quick message to be like, hey, I'm in this funk, and then you and I would kind of break yeah, that down yes. and see. Yeah, and, and so say, call me. <laughs> Sometimes it would be like, call me Asa. <laughs> um, okay, so there were these two pivotal moments. So talk about when your trip to Germany. So when my, my trip to Germany. So prior to like Germany, I have to explain that a little bit. Uh, I built up a lot of walls with you. I didn't trust you. I didn't really want, you know, I, I had a lot of problems with the whole nutrition and exercise programs, like I've said before. So I, I, I was going on a trip to Germany. And uh, um, I hadn't told you uh, that what was going on was I was nervous. I was, we were backpacking across Germany with the kids. I didn't know I was going to be able to do it. I didn't know if I was going to have enough strength, right? I, I, I felt very weak at that time um, mentally in my life, right? Do you know what I mean? And uh, we, uh, we decided to uh, <laughs> do this trip. And we had worked... About two weeks prior to that, we worked on you know meals and what we're going to do and you know, and you know how we're going to we're going to taste you know we're going to go and have fun in Germany. We're going to yeah. eat all the meals there, like eat German meals and do that stuff, right? But other 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 ways to help you know, yeah. the nutrition end of it. So, <clears throat> but I was always nervous about this that I wasn't going to be able to do it because we're backpacking. So I remember I remember that I remember that morning I got up and I, I thought, yeah, you know what. I'm, going to weigh myself, and I'm not supposed to weigh myself on, because we only do it every two weeks, but I thought, you know, I'm going to weigh myself, I'm going to see what what my weight is, start the trip, and see what it is at the end of the trip. So I remember I weighed myself coming into the trip, and uh, I got up, grabbed the kids, we grabbed our backpacks, threw them in the car, and we head to, to the airport. I was pretty nervous. I remember getting up to the counter, and the, the girl said, can you throw your backpack on the, on the scale? I threw my backpack on the scale, and I almost had a heart attack, because my backpack weighed exactly what it was down from the program, which was 26 pounds at that time, so it was early in the program. And I went, wow, like, I got to carry all my weight that I did the whole time, right? You know, it was, it, it was a really, it was a really tough mindset for me because I didn't know what to do because I was thinking, I can't, I couldn't do this in Strathroyga around town without being out of breath. How am I going to do this in a foreign country? So I, uh, I, I took the, I, I took the backpack, we threw it on, we, we threw it on the plane, and I, I was nervous. I remember Corey saying to me, is everything okay? And I said, yeah, yeah, it's just the flight. Because I hadn't even told her, right, how nervous I was about everything. And, you know, uh, 
about three quarters of the way through the flight, I thought about one thing you'd said to me in June one day, and it had nothing to do with this whole situation. You had said to me, if you can't win if you don't try. And I said, man, you know what, I'm going to give this a good try. If it doesn't work, I can do something. I can figure out taking cabs or something, right, if I can't do this backpack thing. And I remember I got off the plane and I grabbed my backpack and I had a wave of relief. And we walked to the hotel and we took the stairs and we just, we had good food, we drank, and uh, we ran to catch a subway or bus if we had to. And I had one of the best vacations with my family that I ever did. And I remember coming back and I said to you, Cindy, you know what? Like, I broke the walls down right there that day we came and we had a meeting here at the gym. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start doing your stuff that you want me to do. Because <laughs> I wasn't doing it up to then. And you were cool. <laughs> And I, uh, and I broke down. I said, you know, this is what happened, right? And it's still tough for me, right? You know what I mean to this day when I talk about it? Because uh, it's one of the turning points for me for this program, right? Yeah, that was one of many. Yes, there was, was many. another yeah. one that came in September. Yeah. And um, I think that you've had these um, goals or these dreams of doing things that you've kind of been putting on, on the back burner because your weight was not allowing you to do yeah, it. Yeah. And in September, there was a lesson we were doing, and here it emerged. What, tell everybody what emerged. So we we're, were doing goal setting, is what we were doing, and um, it, you kind of said, is, is there goals? And I remember I kind of said, yeah, there's a goal I want to do, but I wouldn't tell you. I was no. just, I was just, I kept sending messages you online. And was being, yeah, <laughs> right? I'm kind of thinking about doing this, and I'm, I'm talking to another coach, and uh, you were kind of like, what's going on, right? You were talking about a coach. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, uh, I finally said, yeah, uh, I remember walking out here, walking out of the gym one day, and you followed behind me. She said, just fucking tell me what it is, right? <laughs> Excuse my language. And I said, I, I want to do an amateur fight. I want to do a boxing amateur fight. So I've kind of stepped it up. I started in September. I'm, I'm doing some training. And I'm, Hopefully, I, by the end, by the summer, I'm, I can uh, put together a fight. That's what my goal is. So yeah, and it was something that was kind of a dream, but you never thought yeah. that it was kind of possible for yeah. you. And you were probably hesitant with telling me because you were unsure right. whether or not this could come to fruition. Yes. And I was kind of like, yeah, let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. And um, so this weight wasn't just about weight loss. It wasn't just about being healthy. It wasn't just about being have more ease at your job and moving around and doing this backpack trip. It was about like you had the stuff that you wanted to do, that your weight was a barrier. And since you've lost your weight, you're now training for the boxing match. You and your wife did another summit trip together. Yeah, we climbed the mountain. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah was you great. didn't just go to the all inclusive. Yeah, you climbed the freaking mountain. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you have a lot of other goals, whether that you know, like you have surfing yeah. and like yeah. skiing. Yeah, yeah. Stuff that you never thought your body was capable of. That's doing. right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and so those were some of the pivotal moments that kind of happened in the journey where it was like. We went up a notch, and then we were up to go up another yes, notch, that's right. and kind of deconstruct stuff. Yeah. So you kind of said like, okay, well, this isn't just about nutrition and exercise. This had this whole mindset piece in it, and um, can you just talk a little bit more about that? Like, right. So when I started the program, I thought it would just be nutrition and exercise. That's what all these programs always are based on. That's do you know what I mean? Here's a diet. Follow this diet and follow this exercise program. You'll lose weight, and that's what it is, right? I remember coming in and I'd be like, okay, well, you know, okay, this is great, and you know, but we started working on the mind stuff together, and it was like, wow, it just opened up a lot of a lot of doors for me, and it, it, it made me realize that, you know, this is why I eat sometimes the way I eat, or this is why, you know, I don't want to work out, or like just so many different kind of mindsets that way that we were able to break and just get get over, and it was it's. It's been an amazing journey that way, right? Just making me realize that, you know, what it's about, this is all about me. Like, it's it's not about the nutrition and exercise anymore. It's about me and about wanting to do, make myself a better person and, and be who I want to be and not what I thought I had to be or what I was before. Mm -hmm. right? So Yeah, because you were conflicted. You, that's right. You came in as a very angry person, I, I, untrusting. I was, yes. Yeah, and uh, I was always the jolly guy, but I was very upset and very 
very depressed when I when I started. Yes. Yeah, and now it's come together as a whole Nichols family. Yes. You, your wife, uh, and your kids are all kind of active and yeah. experiencing things together as an active kind of family. The families that you idolized, you're now one of them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so now you've lost all this weight, and I'm sure you have people asking you, like, what kind of diet are you on? <laughs> so talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I get a lot of that. I've recently been asked a few times, like, oh, can you come for dinner? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, okay, well, so what do, you, what do we need to cook for you? And I'd be like, whatever you're eating. Right? <laughs> like, I don't have any, specific, you know, any particular dietary needs, right? You know what I mean? I don't, personally. I know some people do, but I don't. So it's like, well, I can eat whatever you're making, right? I just may want to know so I can make it work for my program, right? Yeah. You know, but I can eat like anything, any any meats, any anything, right? Potatoes, vegetables, whatever, right? Butter. You know, butter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that on the yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like uh, just you know, that's that's what I think is one of the funniest things that people think I'm on this diet, and it's not a diet at all. Mm -hmm. It's just eating normally is what it is, right? And something that I'm not used to. Right. Yeah, yes. yeah, and we've we've certainly like I mentioned, like we've hit those places where it was like we were coasting, and you were used to pushing, and you were like, "This has got to be harder than what it is. It's too yes. easy right yeah. now." Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, um, so Pro Coach is an online platform where we're learning habits and skills and lessons. But what makes it unique or different is the interaction that you have with your coach. So in this case, me. For one year, we've been interacting. So, can you talk about me as a coach or our coaching experience together? <laughs> um, yeah, it's it, it's it's been great. Like, it, just to have like you as a coach, you're a very compassionate person. So, it, th that's been really, really, really nice to have as a coach. Um, in the past, I've had coaches that are kind of you know very straightforward and very you know this is what you need to do and this is what you you know if you don't do this, you're not going to do you know, mm -hmm. get where you need to get, right? Where you're very compassionate. You don't have that black and white area. You have that gray area where you say, you know what, okay, so this isn't working, let's try this. Maybe this will work for you instead. So that's nice, you know, you're available. Like, I find that I can contact you almost any time, right? And I'm not saying that, you, that you're available 24 hours a day, but just, well, you know. Well, sometimes I needed to give you space. <laughs> But yeah, so you, you know, having a coach for the year has been awesome because, I, like, I know I couldn't have done this with, by myself, right? To, to try and do this journey by myself, and just being able to have the support that I need, you know what I mean? And, and having like a, a third party person, like you're not my wife or you're not, you know what I mean? Someone that's close to me. So you know, that was nice to be able to say, you know what? But someone that's understanding and someone that's compassionate and someone that, that that loves what they do, right? So that was that was awesome. To have. Right. I think through the course of the year, we, we discovered, we went through a lot of hard questions. Yes. And we really had to explore it. And uh, one of my strategies is to ask a lot of questions to help you uncover. Way too many questions sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps you explore kind of yes. where are your thoughts and your beliefs around this. So then I can help you deconstruct it. And we did run a lot of experiments with stuff where yes. you'd be like, hey, you want to try this fasting thing? I'd be like, you know what, let's try it. Yeah, let's that's right. try it and that's see right. what happens. And then we'd come together and we'd be like, okay, well, what, what worked? What didn't yeah. work, right? Yeah. And then you can kind of make your own decisions kind yes. of based on yes, that. Yes, exactly. Here. Yeah. And so, it was nice because you'd be able to teach me, like you'd say, okay, well, you know what? If you're doing a fasting thing, write everything down. Write everything down, get everything written down so that you know what how that day went for you and where your weak points were and where your strong points were. And you would do stuff like that where, you know, I never get that, that kind of support from a coach mm -hmm. in the past, right? So, uh, even though I was doing all the work, I had the guidance from you and that helped out huge, right? Doing you know, all these different things that I was trying at that time. So, so, what skills do you have now that maybe we're missing the last 30 years trying to move this way? There's so many. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's everyone every two weeks, right? So, but it, it's... Uh, you know, the big ones right off the bat are, are like, you know, eat slow, right? You know, um, and what I mean by that is every 20 minutes, right? If you're trying to eat a meal in 20 minutes, like, 
make it last 20 minutes. And, and that's always been a struggle for me, right? But I, I'm, I'm getting better all the time, right? Do you know what I mean? So 80% um, full, and that means we don't need to eat everything that we've got on our plate, right? Do you know what I mean? So we get up to about 80% when you feel full, and then you stop, right? And you learn to control that little bit of hunger, that, the, those hunger pains and everything, and that's, that's worked really good for me. Um, <clears throat> uh, meal prep? Yes, meal prep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Corey? Like, it's just, see, it's, I don't even think of it it's now. So right? It's so automatic yeah. now, right? Yeah. Uh, and we do kick ass at meal prep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and just having food ready, like, that's one of the biggest things, right? Like, you know, in the past, we, you, you don't have food ready, so, okay, I'll just grab a, I'll just grab a Big Mac, or I'll grab a, you know, something to Hortons, or I'll grab a bag of chips, or whatever, right? Do you know what I mean? And just go. And now we have all these meals ready, and it's like, oh, okay, let's grab a meal, and I'm gone, out the yeah. door, right? You in know? the beginning, it was a bit, like, he would do meal planning, like, he would submit his meal plan, and I'd look at it, and there were some really random choices on there. <laughs> because I think he had some sort of belief about diet food. That yes. you had to eat only these certain foods in order, and so I would ask him, I'm like, do you do you like that? Like that sounds disgusting, or I'd be like, is that good? Or like, well, like let me I, you understand why you picked this. I remember one of the first conversations we had because I was trying to kind of impress you a little bit, and I I said, okay, you know what? Um, I handed in my meal plan, and, and it had shakes on it. You're like, uh, you're doing shakes, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, th I thought you know you would you. That'd be good, right? And you're like, if you want to do shakes, I guess. You're like, I'd rather eat food. And I was just kind of taken back. I remember that. I was like, wow, like this is the coach that doesn't want me to do this. I mean, I do if you want yes, to. Yes, yes. <laughs> but like, just you know, like you know, she wants me to eat real food, right? So I was kind of like, I was taken back a lot, you know, at first when I, with that kind of stuff, right? So, yeah. And then in the first while was the salmon and the banana. <laughs> <laughs> salmon. And Salmon they the were banana. never at the same time. I did not want the banana and the salmon. But that's totally different now yes, because yes. you kind of let the walls go yes, and you're yes. like, okay, I have room for mashed potatoes. I have yes. room for movie theater popcorn yeah, with my kids. Right. I'm just going to make different tweaks or decisions or trades and I'm yeah. not going to do it all the time. But those right. are foods that I really love. Yes, that's right. That's and right. that are homey and mean something to me as yeah. well, right? That's right. Yeah. And, um, Oh, I forgot the last question. I forgot the question I wanted to ask. So we'll just move into, what do you want people to know about what a year-long journey looks like? Like, what, because a lot of people are really into 30-day quick fixes, or I'll just lose the, the weight really fast, and then um, once I lose it really fast, then I'll figure the other pieces out. So what do you have to say to someone like that? Oh, you know what, this program, like, like I paid for the year up front, right? And that was the best decision I made because then I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get out of it, right? Do you know what I mean? Um, but it, it, I don't know, you can't do this program in 30 days. You can't, it, it's impossible. But what I learned in this program is, and I thought it was nutritional exercise based, like exercise based when I came in, and I thought this is what it's going to be about, but it's not. It was about really about finding out who I am what I need to eat, what I, you know, what I need to, what I need to do exercise-wise, right? Because we're all different, right? You know what I mean? Like, not everyone's going to want to box, right? Or mm -hmm. do certain things, right? Um, some guys, people are going to want to work at home, right? Well, you really limited yourself based on your weight. Yes, you, I did. You put yourself in this box, and these are the only things I can mm -hmm. feel, do, think, and see in this box because of my weight. Yes, that's right. right. And that's once right. we started, the weight started to come off, the box started to open up, right? Yes, yes. And it, I, I started realizing that this program was not just about that, but it was also about finding out who I am and what and what I wanted out of life. And totally, like it, it's been an amazing program for me. That I, that's, I, I do have to say that. Right? And so. one of the most common things that I hear is, "When I lose the weight, I will." And it's a series of things. I will be happy. I will find the guy. I will finally find love. I will do all these things. And we just recently chatted about that. Yes, we did. Because your life is happening as 
you lo you're losing the weight. Yes, you're not that's right. waiting until you lose the weight to start yeah. those things. Yeah. You took the trip to Germany. You took the the mountain summit, the climb. Yeah. You're doing the boxing. You have the trip planned with your a, a friend following year. Like you have a series of things that are showcasing like you are currently living your life while you lose weight versus waiting until you lose yes, weight. Yes, that's right. Can you talk that's about right. that a bit? Sure, more? and and uh, it's that has been like. At the six month mark, mark, that's kind of when that all started happening. And I said, you know, well, what am I waiting for anymore? I'm just going to start doing some of this stuff, right? So we started doing some of this stuff because I had the energy. I knew I could do it. After Germany, I was like, I can do any of this stuff now. So why am I waiting, right? So I started doing some of this stuff and planning. And uh, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm doing that now all the time, right? You know, because you'll ask me, say, what's, what's going on? And I'll say, oh, this is what I'm doing right now. It's kind of like the yeah. other way, right? Yeah. Like, where, where you're kind of asking, what are you doing now, right? <laughs> So, you know, that's been good. Um, it, it, and it's not, like, and I know we're talking about the weight, but, you know, even recently I said to you, I, I don't, I, you know, the weight was a big thing, and now it's not, it's one of the smallest things that I'm worried about. It's worried about all this goal setting and what, what I want to do next year and what I want to do in 2020 and what I want to do in 2021, right? So, you know, I got a, I got a lot of years to get caught up on some of the stuff I missed out on, right? Yeah. So that's that's what that's what it is now. And Tim spent the first maybe mm -hmm. six months of the program hiding his journey from other people. Even though you could physically see that he's under, he wouldn't um, let me post pictures of him in the class. Yes. He wouldn't let me tag him. He wouldn't friend other people in the classes or anything yeah. because he had boxed himself in this kind of category. And then once he started doing that, it was like it was like a whole, whole other world or shift happened. Yes. At the same yes. time, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And so now he's working on bench pressing his weight and yes. he's trying to hit that as a personal best by the end of the year. And it's just interesting. It's it's fat, it's awesome how that is like. That one goal of losing weight that you've been doing for 30 years is now about like how can I experience life with my wife, with my kids, and like even my strength goals. How it's right. evolved into this whole other yeah, exactly. bag of yes. stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say before we go? You know what? Yes, there is one other thing I want to say. <laughs> and that is, you know what? I never said that. You know what? I'm 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 writing a book, and I, I told you this, and I want everyone to know that too, right? That I'm I'm writing a book on this whole journey, and I'm going to make it available free. Do you know what I mean? Too, right? Do you know what I mean? After you give me okay. It's right, okay. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I, like I, I've changed a lot of different things in my life, right? Do you know what I mean? And I I used to write years ago when I started writing again, and I, I you know things like that. This is just this whole program has opened up. Right? Yeah. That's what it's, and, that, and that's what this program's about. It's not about just the weight loss. Yeah. Right? So. I'm excited about the person that's here today because your energy, your aura sitting here is, um, you're vibrating at a different frequency than the person that first walked into yeah. the gym. Yeah. And I not only feel that for myself, I know that other people have said that to you. Whole yes. demeanor, energy, and like they just want to be around you. That's right. I've had, I've had some people say to me, "Oh, you're, oh, you're so happy now." Like, and, and I go, oh, "Oh, I was always happy before." And they go, "No, nah, you weren't." <laughs> right. So people do see it, right? So yeah, it's cool. It's good. All right. So it's Pro Coach with Allo Training, a one-year online coaching program. Uh, check it out. Uh, fill out the form, and you know, uh, do yourself a favor and just book the console call and. See if we're a good working fit for one another. Tim and I had to make sure that we were willing, able, and ready to work with one another first before we jumped on it. Um, yeah, and just make this year about you. All right. Awesome. See ya. Yeah.